As you may recall, 2020 was a year of dramatic change. You might think it's the global pandemic, but it goes deeper than that. These events have a cosmic root, connected to the cycles of our sun and other astrological shifts. Major shifts in the collective consciousness of the planet are taking place, and world events are surface-level manifestations of that. There's a collective shadow at play, and we've all begun to truly grasp the subversiveness of this malevolent spirit. Our way to battle that is through ascension and embracing the creative essence of our divine mother energy. The sun plays a major role in illuminating our way to overcome these shadows. Welcome to More Than a Label. In this video, we talk about the sun's 11-year cycle of waxing and waning activity, which is reaching a peak around 2024, intensifying the influence of feminine solar energy on our collective consciousness. This year also features the Great American Total Solar Eclipse of 2024, which forms an X shape across the United States with its counterpart that took place in 2017, seven years ago, both marking a significant synchronicity. It's believed to be a strong sign of the beginning of the Aquarian age. And not to forget Pluto is also transitioning to Aquarius after spending 16 years in Capricorn. Celestial alignments and the rise of the feminine solar energy influence humanity's ascension of consciousness. And Pluto transitioning to Aquarius accelerates the process by influencing our global communication. The Sun sits at the center of our solar system, emitting light and heat that sustain life on Earth. It's a huge ball of hot, glowing gas made mostly of hydrogen and helium. At the same time, it's a form of sophisticated consciousness that we can't fully grasp. The Sun is an intelligent energetic being. Every living thing on our planet is connected to the sun. We feel its warmth, and it affects our environment in many ways. The sun's energy waves reach us physically and even influence our thoughts and feelings. Sun worshiping starts to make a lot of sense when you attune yourself to the power of the sun. The sun is capable of giving you a delightful mood by simply shining. We're part of a bigger picture, connected to the sun and the entire universe. Our consciousness grows and evolves along with the sun's rhythms. We're all a part of the cosmic whole, each of us playing a role in the universe's grand design. The sun is like a guiding light, showing us the way as we explore our place in the universe. It's the source of all energy and light. So, when a change, though subtle, takes place in the sun's activity, it affects the whole solar system, including our lives. And it's not just the change that occurs physically. Changes also take place on the consciousness level because everything is essentially consciousness. The mind is all. Solar cycles as we understand them today were first systematically studied in the late 1700s by Danish astronomer Christian Haribo. He observed a cyclical pattern in the sun's activity, particularly in the number and size of sunspots. It wasn't until the mid-1800s that Swiss astronomer Rudolf Wolf established the sunspot numbering system, known as the Wolf number, which remains in use today. Referred to as the solar cycle, this phenomenon encompasses an 11-year period during which the sun's activity undergoes significant fluctuations. These fluctuations manifest as changes in solar radiation, sunspot numbers, solar flares, and coronal loops, following a pattern of waxing to a period of maximum activity and waning to a period of minimum activity. We are currently experiencing the 25th solar cycle since records began. Solar cycle 25 officially commenced in December 2019, coinciding with the onset of the global pandemic. Initial predictions suggested a relatively quiet cycle, akin to solar cycle 24, which spanned from 2008 to 2019. However, recent observations indicate that solar cycle 25 may exert a more substantial influence than anticipated, with early signs of heightened solar activity, including solar tsunamis and significant X-class flares. The projected solar maximum for solar cycle 25 is estimated to occur around 2025. However, 
There is speculation among solar scientists that it may occur earlier, possibly in mid to late 2024. During the solar maximum, when the cycle approaches its zenith, the sun's magnetic field undergoes a reversal, resulting in pole shifts. This reversal occurs approximately every 22 years, known as the Hale cycle. As the magnetic field flips, the sun's magnetic polarity transitions from feminine to masculine and vice versa. This magnetic field reversal sends energetic waves throughout the solar system, influencing every planetary body, including Earth. As Earth experiences the effects of the sun's field reversal, it becomes more susceptible to solar storms and heightened solar activity, leading to an increase in space weather phenomena. In late 2019, during the last solar reversal, the sun transitioned from a masculine to a feminine magnetic wave. In this context, masculine and feminine energies represent fundamental polarities inherent in the fabric of our reality. Masculine energy typically embodies qualities such as strength, action, and assertiveness. It is associated with logic, structure, and linear thinking. When the sun emanates masculine energy, it may manifest as periods of stability, productivity, and forward momentum in our lives. Conversely, feminine energy is characterized by receptivity, intuition, and nurturing. It is fluid, intuitive, and attuned to the rhythms of nature. When the sun transitions to a feminine magnetic wave, it signifies a shift towards introspection, emotional depth, and receptivity to change. This shift marked a significant change in the energetic landscape of our solar system. As we move into 2024, we can expect to see these themes of feminine energy manifestation continue to unfold and influence our collective experience. While the rise of feminine energy brings about a sense of nurturing, intuition, and interconnectedness, it also carries the potential for destruction and transformation. In many spiritual traditions, the divine feminine is embodied by powerful deities such as Kali, the Hindu goddess of destruction and rebirth. Kali represents the raw power of creation and destruction, symbolizing the cyclical nature of existence. Her energy is fierce and unyielding, capable of tearing down old structures to make way for new growth. As the feminine energy intensifies, we may witness upheavals and disruptions on both individual and societal levels. This dark aspect of the divine feminine serves as a catalyst for profound change and evolution. It compels us to confront our deepest fears and insecurities, to let go of attachments that no longer serve us, and to embrace the transformative power of surrender. In 2024, as the influence of feminine energy continues to grow, we must navigate these turbulent waters with awareness and discernment. While the destruction brought forth by Kali may seem daunting, it ultimately paves the way for renewal and regeneration. By embracing the dark as well as the light aspects of the divine feminine, we can harness its transformative potential to awaken to higher states of consciousness and collective evolution. Energy portals act as direct channels between the sun and earth, enabling the exchange of high energy particles. These particles, which are acknowledged by astrophysicists, facilitate continuous communication between our planet and the sun, occurring approximately every eight minutes. We are susceptible to these particles on a very subtle level. The interactions between the sun and earth through these portals can have tangible effects on us. The interaction between the sun and earth through energy portals extend beyond the physical realm, influencing us on multiple levels. These connections can have tangible effects on our mood, consciousness, and even our physical well-being. On a psychological level, exposure to sunlight can significantly impact our mood and mental health. Sunlight stimulates the production of serotonin, a neurotransmitter associated with feelings of happiness and well-being. Conversely, lack of sunlight, especially during the darker months of the year, can lead to seasonal affective disorder, SAD, and feelings of depression or anxiety. Furthermore, solar energy can influence our consciousness, heightening our awareness and intuition. 
Many people report feeling more spiritually connected and inspired during periods of heightened solar activity. Conversely, fluctuations in solar energy levels can also manifest as restlessness or agitation. Physically, exposure to sunlight is essential for the regulation of our circadian rhythms, which govern our sleep-wake cycle and hormonal balances. Sunlight exposure helps regulate the production of melatonin, the hormone responsible for promoting sleep. Additionally, sunlight exposure is crucial for the synthesis of vitamin D, which plays a vital role in bone health, immune function, and mood regulation. As the primary source of light and energy in our solar system, the sun deserves appreciation for its role in nurturing life on Earth. In the year 2024, significant celestial events, including eclipses and planetary alignments, converge to shape global consciousness, especially with the upcoming Great American Total Solar Eclipse of April 8th. 2024 is not just a year with significant eclipse. It's a potent crossroads in humanity's ascension. As the feminine energy intensifies, we are presented with a unique opportunity to awaken the dormant potential within us. This celestial signpost marks a time for deep introspection, urging us to confront the shadows within and embrace the transformative power of the divine feminine. On April 8, 2024, the United States will witness a total solar eclipse, an awe-inspiring spectacle where the moon completely covers the sun for a brief period. This 2024 eclipse forms an X shape with its counterpart, the Great American Total Solar Eclipse, which took place in 2017. Seven years separate them. In numerology, the number seven signifies completion, as in the seventh day of creation, and the seven seals of revelation. And the X itself suggests a crossroads, a point of decision. It symbolizes a mark. This eclipse marks the culmination of an old cycle and the beginning of a new one. Many people believe it's a strong sign that the second coming is at the door, and it manifests, and the spread of the kingdom of heaven or Christ consciousness like a mustard seed, as described by Christ in Matthew 13, verses 31 and 32, the kingdom of heaven is like the mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. The fact that the X marks the U.S. makes a lot of sense because we are the most powerful empire of the contemporary age. This eclipse is believed to be a strong sign of the prevalence of the values and ethics of the Aquarian Age, an era characterized by innovation, progress, and humanitarianism. As the celestial bodies align in the sky, they mirror the shifting tides of human consciousness ushering a new paradigm of thought and action. Another interesting astrological alignment related to Aquarius occurred in 2024. For nearly two decades, Pluto was in Capricorn, starting from 2008, which is the sign of authority, structures, and institutions. This placement coincided with a period of intense focus on power dynamics and challenges to established systems. We witnessed movements like Occupy Wall Street, the Arab Spring, and numerous social justice movements around the world. These uprisings reflected Pluto's influence in Capricorn, a collective push to dismantle rigid structures and fight for more equitable systems. In March 2024, which is a few days ago, Pluto shifted into Aquarius, the sign of innovation, rebellion, and collective consciousness. This shift marks a potential turning point. Aquarius is less interested in dismantling old systems and more focused on building entirely new ones. We might see a surge in technological advancements, alternative social structures, and a renewed emphasis on humanitarian efforts. So. This solar cycle is coinciding with some radical changes in the collective consciousness on multiple levels. All of these significant cosmic events are opportunities for the awakened ones. By attuning ourselves to the energetic shifts and celestial alignments, we can actively participate in our own awakening 
and contribute to the collective rise in consciousness. Here are some ways to embrace the transformative power of 2024. Practice introspection and shadow work. Just as Kali, the Hindu goddess of destruction, tears down old structures, use this time to confront your fears and limiting beliefs. By acknowledging your shadow aspects, you can clear the way for personal growth and transformation. Refine your intuition. As the feminine energy strengthens, hone your ability to receive subtle guidance from within. Meditation, spending time in nature, and journaling are all practices that can help you connect with your inner wisdom. Embrace acts of service and kindness. The hallmark of ascension is compassion. Actively extend kindness and empathy to those around you, fostering a sense of unity and connection within your community, and become a steward of the planet. The rise of the feminine also signifies a renewed appreciation for nature. Take steps to reduce your environmental impact and advocate for a more sustainable future. This year, 2024, is a potent time for awakening. By aligning ourselves with the celestial rhythms and embracing the transformative power of the feminine energy, we can collectively usher in a new era of peace, harmony, and ascension. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to More Than a Label for future updates.